Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you how to make a recipe for chocolate whipped cream. It's lectin free, sugar free, gluten free, and even keto. So what you'll need is a stand mixer fitted with a whisk attachment. And if you don't have one of those, you can just use a hand mixer, but it takes a little bit of time. So before you begin, you're going to want to refrigerate the bowl for at least an hour, or half an hour or so. Um, just so it gets really cold before you begin. So next you're going to add one cup of organic heavy cream, two tablespoons of Swerve granular. You could also use the confectioner's Swerve or uh, monk fruit sweetener. Then you're gonna add two tablespoons of non-alkalized cocoa powder. If you're making just vanilla whipped cream, you can skip this part, okay? Just kinda try to stir it together a little bit so that when it mixes, all of the powder doesn't fly up at you. Next, we're gonna add one teaspoon of pure vanilla extract. So sometimes I like to get creative and instead of using the vanilla extract, I might use peppermint extract instead or orange extract. Um, because both of them are really strong in their flavors, you would just wanna use about a quarter teaspoon of those extracts instead of a full teaspoon, okay? And then we're gonna close the stand and then turn it on to medium and start mixing. The whipped cream has been mixing for about two minutes and see it's looking pretty good. The whipped cream is holding its structure and it's not falling off, but it is a little soft for my taste. So I'm gonna, at this point, go ahead and scrape just the sides of the bowl to make sure all of that chocolate powder gets mixed in. We are gonna let it run for another minute. You wanna keep an eye on it during this time because if you over mix it, then the cream will separate from itself and turn into butter. Okay, so let's check on it now. Yeah, that's looking more like the um, whipped cream that I like to use on cakes, and so we're gonna, that's it, it's finished. So you can store this whipped cream in an airtight container and save it for later and just scoop it on whenever you need it. Or you can store it in, I like if you have one of these pastry guns, those are really helpful and you can store it in that in the refrigerator and it's pretty convenient. And it makes things look really pretty. So you can just scoop some of that inside of it. Fill it up. Here I have um, a little cupcake that I made. So if you wanna just pipe it inside of it, you cut it in half and you can close it. Okay, so then you can sprinkle it if you'd like with some fresh strawberries that are in season. If you're following a plant paradox diet, you wanna make sure you're just eating fruit that um, is in season and grown, you know, locally that you can buy in season. So you can find that at farmer's markets or um, even at the grocery store sometimes. And there you have it. The easiest, most delicious recipe for chocolate whipped cream.